Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny Allen and before we get started with today's video, please make sure that you are subscribed, that you check the description box below and you thumbs up this video. So for today's Prayer Monday video, we're going to be looking at Psalm 91. Psalm 91 and that's one of my favourite uh, passages of scripture. Okay, Psalm 91, and we're going to be reading it in the New King James Version, New King James Version. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my fortress and my refuge. My God in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence, go on to verse 6, that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Verse 7, a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Let's go to verse 9. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, Verse 10, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Verse 11, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. To keep you in all your ways. You know, in God, there is safety. There is protection, there is security, there's warmth, there's loyalty. You are guarded, you are provided for. In God is a worry-free zone. There is a secret place. You're shielded, you're defended. It is a place of delight. This is the place in God that we must find ourselves in today. When you come to God, when you commit your things to him, when you commit your concerns and your prayers to him, there is safety, there is a security, there is a protection, there is a trust. You know, we don't want to live in the shadow of anyone else. We want to live under God's shadow, under God's protection. We will be spectators under the shadow of the Almighty. You know when you have a shadow, a shadow protects you from heat because even when you're outside and you're standing there, your shadow, uh, you know, it, it acts, any area within that shadow is not receiving that heat because your body is absorbing that heat. And then the shadow, you know, it's it's not receiving any direct heat because you're there blocking it. And that's the same thing with God. You know, there are so many things that we experience on a daily basis and we can cry out to God about it. But if we really and truly knew and understand the amount of things that God is blocking us from, you know, it would shock our understanding. God stands as a barrier, as a defense between whatever the enemy is doing and between us. He stands as a barrier and we are protected under his shadow. We are protected because we are barricaded. Because don't forget, there's a scripture that says, 
Our lives are hidden with Christ in God. With Christ, we are protected in God. And if we make that as a daily declaration, we will be protected. Let's pray. Father, I thank you once again today for everyone who will watch this video. I pray, Father God, that whatever, Lord, the viewers are going through in their personal lives, I pray, Lord, that you will be a defense, that you will be a protection, that you will be a wall, that you will be a barrier to them. I commit their minds to you. I commit their personal situations to you. I even commit, Lord, the secret desires of their hearts to you, Lord. Some are being, Father, some of them are going are under much stress because of what they are experiencing, Lord. But I pray that you will be a defense to them this morning or today or whenever they're watching this video. I pray, Lord, that you will declare them and be their banner today, be their protection. The word says, Lord, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. And I pray, Father God, that you will lift up a standard against the works of the enemy in the lives of your people today. I pray, Father God, and I commit their daily walk into your hands today. And I pray, God, that as they go to their work, as they have their family issues, as they have different things that's going on, I pray, Lord, that you will be a defense and that you will cover them in the secret place. I pray, Lord, that they will have a heart for prayer, that they will have a heart for worship, that they will have a heart of looking to you. And as they keep themselves in that secret place, in that place where you dwell, that you will cover them, Father God, and that you would shield them from the attacks of the enemy. I pray, Lord, that they will stand on your word. I pray, Lord, that they will stand in faith, that they will put on the whole armor of God so that they may be, that they may be able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. Father, keep and protect them today. Declare yourself to them, Lord. Minister to them. Show yourself strong on behalf of them. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. And I pray that today's uh, Prayer Monday ministered to you. And don't forget to check the description box below. And I will see you in my next video. God bless.